Hi all! Welcome to a puzzle from Jacob Agard's book, Excelling at Positional Chess. We're going to do these for the next week or so. Uh, it's white to move in this position, and as always, pause your video, try to find uh, your own solution, and then unpause it and we'll work this one out together. So, this is a very simple looking position. Not too much is happening. So we got to figure out what the heck is the idea here. I don't know, man. I'm having trouble coming up with any good ideas myself. I mean, I mean, G4 like to try to attack this king because it's a you know there's a little hook on H6, so G4 and G5. But it seems a bit premature. Like, it doesn't seem like we have any great attack right away. Also, he can go E4 in that position. I mean, we could always just go E4 and get some space, but that doesn't look like so amazing either. Let's see, what else? D5 doesn't look so good at all, because just this type of move just doesn't look good. <laughs> um, prematurely, like closing the position like that, it doesn't, I don't know why it would help us in any way. Hmm. Well, I have no idea what kind of answer they're looking for here. I mean, probably in a game I would just go like, I don't know, bishop c4 or something. Maybe e4. I'm not sure though. e4 looks a little... I don't know. Something about it looks a little weird. Like, I'm not sure what it does, really. Huh. Queen b4 doesn't seem very helpful. Because it's just knight c6. King b1 is always useful. <laughs> Uh, maybe if I just default, I would do that. Oh, you know, we got to deal with h4. What are we going to do against, I'm sorry, what do we do with e4? Against e4. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's, like, annoying enough where we should go e4 ourselves. Doesn't feel right, though. Just doesn't feel right to me to go e4. Oh, goodness. What the heck do you want from me, Jacob Agard? By the way, these are not the players in the game. I don't know who the players are, but it's not those guys. I'm trying to find a, a good idea. I'm not really coming up with anything too special. So, I, I don't know. Queen C3, maybe? Why queen c3? If e4, I can go knight d2. It's all my only plan, really, behind that move. Um, if knight c6, after queen c3, we have moves like bishop to b5. I don't know. I want to go knight d2. I don't have any idea what the answer is, honestly. I'm just going to go... Am I really going to go queen c3? It looks kind of lame. I don't know. <laughs> Give me a second here. What if I if I go pawn takes pawn and bishop c4? Doesn't seem too special. Uh, okay. Oh wait, you know, it isn't like pawn takes pawn and queen c3 is like slightly annoying. Um, it's nice c6, bishop b5, and if rook e8, I realize we could take on e5. So, let's say I take first, and then go queen here. I mean, f6 is weakening. Knight d7, I take on c7. e4, now I have like knight d4, or even queen e5, I'm not sure if this is good or not, but it's, it's worth looking at. Um, and if knight c6, bishop b5 looks annoying, and if rook e8, like knight takes pawn because we get to uh, go rook d8 check. I kind of like, I mean, like if here right away, I feel like this might just be fine for black. So that's why I'm taking first and then and then going queen c3. And if e4, we have knight d4, we have queen e5 possibilities. Trading trading queens with a you know, at least decent position. 
Um, I'm just going to do that. I don't have any idea. That's my answer. Pawn takes pawn and queen c3. Let's see what the answer is. Puzzle 97. Salah versus Black. White. Unbelievable. I, how, did, how did I get this right? <laughs> That's the answer. Pawn takes pawn and queen c3. Uh, he, he writes, White has a lead in development, and he cannot use it to create attack on the king's side. The pieces are not headed that way, and black has no obvious weaknesses. Consequently, the correct approach is to put immediate pressure on the center, which is in fact black's only weakness. If not, then the lead in development will soon be history, and white will be left with no structural advantage. So pawn takes, pawn takes, queen c3, exclamation point. This is the point. Now black has problems with both the dark squares and coordination. <coughs> he says after e4, uh, knight d4, because now he has trouble developing the knight. Knight d7 we take on c7, knight c6 we take on c6. And in the game he went knight c6, bishop b5, rook e8, and supposedly white should just take and go like knight to d2. Um, and white has a structural advantage. Instead in the game he played something like rook d2, which Jacob calls silly <laughs> because of knight b4. Uh, and after king b1, c6. But alright, that was... <coughs> I've been getting a lot of these puzzles right where the answer is like something like really... Like not very exciting at all. But somehow I've been finding these moves. Like take and queen c3. It's not so easy. But I'm very proud of myself for finding it. Along with some of the last puzzles I've gotten right. So... I've gotten every puzzle right this month so far. And they were not easy. Uh, but I hope this one makes sense. It's just kind of like a little awkward for Black to, to deal with this attack. And again, if he gets to go e4, like we did this right away, e4, I'm not so sure this is anything for us. He just goes c6. Maybe he can start to attack on the queen side even. So thanks guys for watching. I will see you next time with another puzzle from Jacob Agard's pretty awesome book. Peace out. Bye-bye.